Hey guys, this is Naren Zade with the Hammer Bros, and I'm bringing you game four from the Unplugged GT 2015. My opponent this round is Jarrett Messing. He's a great guy, and he plays in uh, the Northeast Masters team, and I believe he plays in the ETC team. He's a very good player, and I was very excited to play him. Uh, he's actually the guy that I'm also subbing for for the DGen X team in uh, the Bragging Rights team tournament, so I was very pumped to play him. Uh, so here's our deployment. Uh, as you can see, there's these green objective markers on the board. As long as you have a unit with fortitude within six inches of one of those markers and you control more than your opponent, you're going to get a bonus point at the end of each game turn up to a maximum of four. So you can see in the upper right, I have my doom wheel, uh, war lightning, war lightning, slaves, rat dart, slaves again, storm vermin bunker, or storm vermin unit, another unit of slaves, and my rat dart. On his upper right, you can see a steam tank, five demis. Uh, he's got a unit of Inner Circle Knights right here with a level 4 to life, a BSB, and a Grand Master. On the left you can see two Light Wizards in that unit of 40 some odd Halberdiers, five Archers, an Arc Collector on a War Altar, and the Cannon. I decided to ambush my uh, Gutter Runners. Uh, on his first turn, he turns his Steam Tank towards my Doom Wheel in an attempt to cannon it. I activate the Storm Banner this round. He stays put pretty much otherwise. Uh, during his magic phase, he two dice his throne of vines. I stop it. He uses the he uses another he uses the to cast uh, Shim's Burning Gaze on my help hit, and I stop that. So we go to the shooting phase. His cannon is on the steam tank is unable to shoot, so he can't shoot my doom wheel. Uh, on the turn with the cannon, it shoots. However, it does not make it to my to my cannon. On my turn, I move my Doom Wheel towards his Steam Tank, uh, and I push up like so, so that you can so that I get the objective markers. Um, on his turn, or excuse me, on my Magic Phase, I cast Scorch on his unit of Halberd Ears. He uses the Scroll of Shielding, and I only kill one or two, and he passes his Panic Check. Uh, my one of my War Lightning Cannons is unable to shoot; the other one shoots at his cannon and is unable to wound it. My Doom Wheel fires and does yeah, and does uh, eight, eight wounds to it. Uh, it is able to shoot and it does the D6s and all that. And the Steam Tank with two wounds on it. During his turn, he misfires with his Steam Tank and loses all of his Steam Points. He doesn't move up very much. He stays in a very similar position. Um, here's just a close-up of what I look like. This is what his movement looks like. Um, during his magic phase, he attempts to uh, cast Throne of Vines. I let this go because he rolls something like a 14 on two dice. Uh, his next spell is the Dwellers Below. I attempted to spell it, but I'm unable to. It goes off on my Storm Vermin and only kills about eight or nine. So I get very lucky passing so many tests. Uh, they pass their panic check. We go to his shooting phase, his steam tank is unable to do anything because it doesn't have any steam points. Uh, his cannon fires, it hits my cannon and wounds it and does one wound to it. Uh, during my turn, I run my I run my doom wheel into his steam tank and I push up my right dart there a little bit. Um, I reform like so, maneuvering like this, I keep my grace here hidden. I uh, give myself ranks on my storm vermin because I'm not too worried about a charge there, and if need be, I can reform into a wider, wider unit. During the shooting phase, my doom wheel misfires, so I'm unable to uh, hurt the steam tank there. Uh, we go to uh, in my magic phase. I apologize. I throw scorch again. It goes off. I kill some of the some of the halberdiers again. I'm not in range to Plague or to 13th, so that's the only thing that goes off, a of worth note. In my shooting phase, I shoot my cannon two times at his cannon, and I'm unable to wound it, or I come up short. Uh, the Doom Wheel does something like four impact hits, and I wound three or four times, but he saves all of them. I end up winning combat by one, and he sticks. Uh, the On his turn, he charges those knights into my Rat Dart. I hold, 
um, because he's going to overrun into the slaves, and I'm okay with him being stuck there. Uh, during the magic phase, he still has Throne of Vines up, and he attempts to cast Dwellers Below. I dispel it with my scroll at this point, and I stop the rest of his magic phase. During the shooting phase, his cannon misfires, but it's fine. Um, in the close combat phase, I do D3 grinds. I do one. I don't wound. Uh, he does one wound to me from the engine from the guy on top, I believe. I lose by one and I break. So I run off like so. Um, and that's that. He kills the Raptor and overruns into the slaves, as you can see. On my turn, I rally my Doom Wheel. I push my uh, my Rat Dart up in front and push my Doom Rocket guy up in front of those Demis to block them up. You can see one unit of my Gutter Runners comes on there facing the cannon. Uh, just to give you another shot of that. Uh, you can see over here on the left, he's facing like so with his... Um, with his halberd ears, and you can just see the base of my halberd right there. I'm about four inches from him. Uh, during my turn, in the magic phase, I'm not ready to quite plague those knights yet, um, and I get a low phase, so I'm not really willing to throw my power scroll away yet. So I believe I try to cast Scorch again, and it goes off, and you can see I've whittled his halberd ear unit to about 60 to 70 percent of what's left there. Uh, my Doom Wheel gets a strength 2 shot and is unable to do any wounds. He's healed the steam tank up a little bit here as you can see, so that's not looking good for me. Um, and my Warp Lightning Cannons both shoot at his, tank, at his cannon again and both are either unable to wound or don't make it in. So I'm not having too much luck there with the cannons, but what are you going to do? So we go to his turn. And on his turn, he cannons off my, I'm sorry, he charges the Doom Rocket guy, obviously, with his demis, kills them, they run. He pushes out one of his level 1 Light Wizards in front of my Hell Pit to block them up, and he reforms to face my Gutter Runners. Uh, the, in the Magic Phase, he Dwellers my Storm Vermin and gets it off and kills about half the unit. They pass their Leadership 8 or 9 check at this point. And that's all he gets off for magic. In the shooting phase, his cannon uh, misfires again, but his steam tank cannon kills my um, kills my gutter or kills my doom wheel one shot. Uh, he kills a bunch of slaves, and we move on to my turn. On my turn, I oh I'm sorry, and he charges his arc collector into my rat dart, and my rat dart fled, and I pass all my panic checks associated with that. So, here's a look at the board. You can see the steam tank is still facing that way. The slaves are still holding on. Uh, you can see that I've abandoned my storm vermin unit with my warlord, and, I, and I'm ready to pop the potion of strength on his turn. Uh, and I think that's the only movement. Oh, I have moved my helmet into his level 1 over there, and I'm going to smash him. We go to the magic phase. In the magic phase, I... I believe I get another low phase here, and I'm unable to do anything, and he pops a scroll. Uh, in the shooting phase, my cannon finally takes out his cannon, and I kill his arc. I kill the arc collector off of his. Um, no, I'm sorry. I cannon his. Yes, I cannon his arc collector. I kill the arc collector, and I deal one or two wounds to the uh, wagon. And then I cannon it again, and I take out the wagon this time. My gutter runners are able to shoot off the cannon, so that's great. Uh, in the close combat phase with the slaves, he kills a bunch of slaves, and I stick again because I'm steadfast. On his turn, he moves like so. He misfires his steam tank and loses all of the steam points. He charges the demis into the warlord who holds. He charges the Hellbreeders into the Gutter Runners who flee off the board because I don't want him to hit them and then overrun and then be off the board. So I felt like that was a good play. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't kill the Arc Collector this round. I didn't kill the Wagon this round. I killed the Arc Collector and dealt two wounds to the Wagon and it reforms like so. Spoilers, I'm, I'm going to kill the Wagon. Uh, during his magic phase, he attempts to... He attempts to... Uh, 
dwellers below again and I stop it and I believe he gets off he gets off his uh, his cannon shot and I believe he kills a couple storm vermin uh, with the with the banishment uh, during the close combat phase the warlord does a few wounds he does one or two wounds and the and the halberd or and the demis do one wound I lose by one and he sticks on a six. My slaves there are still steadfast by one or two guys and hold on a rerollable nine. Um, during my turn, I charge with my storm room into the flank of the demis. My thought process here is those slaves aren't going to hold on, so they're going to break. And my storm room is going to get flanked by those that unit of knights anyway, so I might as well put them in the flank of the demis and try and make something good happen. So that's that. Um, I move my slaves like so to protect my bunker. You can see that I've got this unit of 30 slaves here in front of my Gracie or my BSB and my other wizard. Uh, during the magic phase, I cast Plague on his knight unit. And you can see I kill a whole bunch of them there. Uh, he's only got five or six knights left, or four knights left and three characters. Uh, that's the only spell I get off this round. And we go to my shooting phase, I shoot the Arc Lector off, and with the bounce that goes through, I direct hit all the Halberdiers and kill all of them. The wizard fails his panic check and runs off the board. Uh, my, And then my other cannon shoots into the night combat but doesn't quite make it. Uh, we go to the close combat phase, and I... the... The knights here break those slaves, and the because the warlock engineer is the only guy left, he's not swallowed up and killed, so he runs away four inches, and his knights reform to face my storm burnt run. Uh, I break the demis, uh, and they escape. I go to his turn, and he begins to reform like so. He smashes into the side of the storm vermin, and uh, his demis rally. In his magic phase, he doesn't really have anything to cast, because uh, nothing's in his front arc. I believe he passes his magic phase, essentially. Um, in the shooting phase, he attempts to cannon my help it, but uh, does not, doesn't wound or I make my regen save. Uh, during the close combat phase, he kills the storm vermin and runs them down. Uh, during my turn, I run the help it into the side of those demis. I go to the magic phase and I attempt to plague that unit again, but he stops it. Uh, we go to the shooting phase and I hit off his BSB or his level 4. I kill one of the two and a couple knights, um, but I'm not able to get the level 4 or the general. Uh, my help hit kills two of the demis and they break, but he's not able to run them down. Um, and the game ends with a 16 8 win for me. I managed to get four bonus points every round and he got none. So I got a, a fairly big win here. Uh, I was pretty pumped about it. So I started off very well day two. Um, and I'm looking forward to game five, which I play against Rob Ellison, who is from the Nerdhammer crew. And he happened to copy and paste my list, except for the Iron Curse icon. He put a halberd or a shield on his BSB or something like that. So we're going to find out who the King Skaven is next round. See you guys next time. Bye.